fresh in today from Hasbro Pulse. Let's open this box and see what it is. I haven't really been doing much with Transformers. I had started buying some of the uh, Siege figures, the War for Cybertron Siege figures. Oh, there we have it. It's an Optimus Prime. So I'd started buying some of the Siege figures and uh, I liked them quite a bit. But one problem I had with the line was that they keep releasing the same figures just in different color schemes or in different packages. And it didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me other than just a, a money grab for the company, which I mean, obviously they're gonna maximize what they can make out of each mold. But um, after watching the Netflix series, all of that made a whole lot more sense. They really tied in the, uh, the, the aspect of different characters having the same, uh, the same body. So here we have the Earthrise Optimus Prime. Uh, something I think that a lot of us wanted whenever the Siege figures started coming out was the Optimus Prime with a trailer. Now this is a leader class figure, I believe, uh, which is basically a Voyager figure with a, a larger accessory. And we're going to open him up and check him out. I do have others that I'll be making videos with, uh, like the uh, grapple figure here. And I also ordered one of the upgrade kits for the grapple figure to fill in like where his feet are hollow and whatnot. Uh, Phil, that's one of the things I really didn't care too much for with these figures was uh, the fact that uh, they, they seem kind of hollow. They've got a lot of voids. And I know that there is an upgrade kit uh, for the for this version of Optimus Prime. I'll, I'll end up ordering that as well. So, I'm trying to figure out how to open this box without destroying it. Now there's a there's some really cool stuff about the box art uh, that I haven't I haven't messed with it yet. See in shipping we got a little bit of uh, a little bit of wear here on the box. That's fine though. Uh, one of the things that I like about these figures is that I believe once you remove them from the box, they have a tray inside, much like the Marvel Legends figures and the GI Joe figures and all of these others back here, uh, so that you can actually use the box to display the figure. That's definitely a plus, um, but we will uh, we'll get into that and, and see. This is my first time opening one of these figures, so I'm trying to figure out where to start, and I have no idea. I guess over here on this side, there's a couple pieces of tape here, so we'll cut here. Just slicing the tape and start working our way, working our way open. I don't want to tear the box. And it already started to tear right there. So I'll move down here. There we go. Didn't do bad. Uh, it, it did tear a little bit, but it's not too terrible. I'm keeping these. I'm not selling them or anything like that. I'm not trying to, you know, buy these up for a mint in box collector value, whatever. If I was doing that, I probably would not order from Pulse because sometimes they don't provide packing material in their uh, in their boxes. So here you have the box with all the artwork and everything. And uh, what I was talking about with the uh, some of the cool stuff about the boxes, uh, they have Cybertronian text on them. I've got to figure out how to read that. I know that you go online and there's some stuff that you do, but uh, some of them also have uh, hidden text on the boxes. I'm not sure if Earthrise does or not, but uh, I will look into that and uh, I'll make another video on it or something. So here's the instruction sheet with uh, all of the steps for the figure and for the trailer. So here's what we're looking at. Here's all the steps. 
I remember Transformers being a lot, uh, a lot different from this. When I was a kid, they were, for the most part, pretty simple to transform. So, but we'll, uh, we'll get him out of the, out of the tray and go through this and transform him into the truck and check out the trailer. Now that I have him completely separated from his tray, uh, this was taped to the back side of the tray. And I think I know what this is. Uh, I could I could look it up and not look like an idiot, but I want you all to see that this is my first experience with these, with these figures. Uh, I, I think that I might have seen someone else using one of these. It's a, it's a decoder or a reader. The, uh, the red will show you certain things, I believe, on the box. So let's just give it a once over and see what we've got here. So far, I don't see anything. Yeah, still don't see anything. So, check the back and the top, really. I'm not seeing anything yet. Am I missing it? Or is it just not there? Hmm. Maybe this box just doesn't have anything on it. So the inside, uh, the, the backing piece. Let's check out the backing piece. Okay, so... That shows up a little bit better. Micron. Is this uh, a hint to a new Transformer or another Transformer or a planet or what? Micron. And then you have a, a face here. This is visible without this, but the uh, the little red uh, cellophane or whatever this is uh, does make some of this a lot more visible. It's interesting. It's a cool concept, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, I know that you can go online and decipher the Cybertronian text. I don't see anything over here. Yeah, nothing over here. So I'll figure out what that is and add it. I'll add it into the video. Yeah, I know that it, I should have done research on this beforehand, but like I said... Uh, this is the first one of the uh, War for Cybertron figures that I've actually opened up and messed with. I've I've uh, I've handled a loose one before, and that's what I was talking about with them being, you know, feeling kind of hollow. But uh, this is the first one I've opened, so you get to experience that first with me. So he is tied to the maintenance station or the battle station or whatever the trailer is, and this is kind of odd. I don't think that I've ever seen this before the uh the figure actually being tied into it i don't really care for that why not just use the uh little stretchy plastic uh bands that they did for the rest of it i don't really see the point of using like some kind of weird string i'll hang on to it anyway and then, oh, you know what? Sometimes I feel like there's just way too much packaging with uh, with a lot of these figures coming out lately. Yeah, I get that they've got to hold them in the box for display and whatnot, but, you know, there, there's a little bit of overkill to some of this stuff. How do we get that out of there? It's all tangled up in his joints. Here he is freed up. Let's take a look at the articulation and whatnot. First, I did, I haven't tried to transform or anything, but I did uh, get the chest open because I knew that he had this inside. Let's see if I can get my fat fingers in there to pop this out. That might be a problem. So I'll use the trusty X-Acto knife. There we go. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh... <laughs> it's uh it's a transparent plastic in the middle 
the uh, matrix of leadership. Anyway, the matrix of leadership, not on the floor. Uh, pretty cool piece. I always like these. Um, I've had a few Optimus Primes that have these uh, these matrix pieces with them. I'm going to shove that back in his chest here. And we'll take a look at the rest of the uh, articulation and whatnot. Close those doors. The head, I believe the head is on a ball and has nice articulation. The eyes also, I can't tell if the eyes are translucent or if they just have a different blue paint, but uh, they're very, uh, they stand out. They, they pop really well. I like the metallic paint that's on the figure, on the hands. And uh, one of the things about the hands, this system they use for gripping the weapons, the weapon actually slides down into a slot back here and then you can still open the hand and it's not just gonna you know fall out or anything the hand articulation is pretty cool with this guy and you know you have full posability with the legs and whatnot you know he'll completely do the splits if you want one of the things that uh we didn't have with transformers as a kid as children back in the 80s Nowhere near that amount of posability. I dig it. Yeah, this figure's pretty cool. So I'm not going to try to just transform him because there are 31 steps to transforming Optimus Prime from robot to uh, truck. And here we'll pull the gun out of his hand. Now, that's a neat system. The gun actually looks really nice as well. It, you know, a couple different colors on it, and then pops up like this for storage. And I'll show that as well, uh, where that gets to be stored. All right, so the first step is to rotate the arms, it appears. What this is showing us is that the first step is to pull the arms out a bit and open these panels here and the hands will we'll get those turned here and they'll fold inside the arm and then we'll close the panel back like so step one so we'll move down here to step five six yeah five and six his legs tab together here we'll go ahead and do that okay that was a, a pretty loud snap but i don't think anything broke oh no nothing broke so that's locked in now we rotate the figure 180 degrees we are here currently right here and we pop these out and flip this piece down. Moving along here to step number nine, we will put him in a sitting position and close his feet. There's the back of the truck. And then we rotate this 180 degrees. And now we rotate it again and open up this part. So here's where we are now right here now we need to start opening up parts here basically just unfolding uh, all the panels for the figure and if we look down to this next step we'll open out the doors and if I can figure out how to do this. <laughs> now that Optimus Prime's chest is fully opened up, you have a couple of uh, spots right here and a couple of tabs here. And all of this is just gonna go straight down. This will lock into place actually. And, uh, Oh, he came apart. 
So this just clips on right here. Nothing broke. Um, here. You have a metal bar right here. And this will just clip right onto that. Like so. It's not the tightest mechanism in the world, but it'll it'll work. So there we are. There's the front of the truck. We have the arms still sticking out, but the front of the truck is assembled. Now we have two pieces here that need to fold back like so. And we need to fold the arms back. The arms will go at 90 degrees and turn down and in. I have popped that off. I'll have to take care of that momentarily. We'll get this positioned first. All right, so his arms are folded in and this piece over here does not want to tab in and actually stay. So I'm not sure what's up with that. I'll take a look at it in a minute. I'll hold it in place until then. I'm hoping that once uh, everything else gets locked in here, that it'll be okay. So here everything's closed in and tabbed in. There we go. And we'll move on down through the steps. This opens up here. And Optimus Prime's head will turn upside down and this will close and tab in right there. So there we have Optimus Prime pretty much transformed into the truck. Um, a little blocky, it's not bad. I really do wish this was a more positive lockup here. Uh, these tabs, I won't be leaving this in truck form anyway, but still. Uh, he's pretty much uh, pretty much done. He's pretty much transformed. The last step to complete the transformation into the truck is flipping out the fuel tanks so that it looks more complete from the sides. This is bothering the hell out of me. The fact that these pieces won't stay tabbed in. And this uh, uh, the door here doesn't appear to want to tab all the way in either. Or it's going in. It's just not staying. But all around, I think that this Optimus Prime, the cab over truck, I think he looks pretty good. And then, of course, he has the uh, sockets all over the body where the gun will plug into, like so, or like this. Should go like that, yeah. There we go. And, and that's pretty much all over. You can plug it in back here. Or uh, you can do the storage thing with the socket here, which is what it's for. We'll close it up and right there. Now, the rear tires uh, seem to be, uh, they're, they're plastic. I thought they were rubber for a minute, but they're plastic. Uh, the front tires are also plastic. Uh, having rubberized tires on this figure would actually be pretty cool as well, but we did not get that. A look at the trailer here. You have the plastic tires on the back. You have the fold-down stand, which is actually a, a softer material. And the main frame of the trailer, and then you have the box in the back door. So this is showing us to fold this piece in and then to fold the sides up and they tab in, you have all of these tabs along here. Ooh, <laughs> very uh, flimsy. I don't think that it's flimsy to the point of breaking. I think it's actually flimsy to keep it from breaking. After all, these toys are meant for kids. So we'll shut the door and there we have the, uh, the assembled trailer. I'll show you that in just a second. There we go, trailer with Prime. He has a socket where the trailer will plug in and we can just fold the uh, stand up and there we have it. The 
complete Optimus Prime trailer. Not a whole lot of uh, movability there. It's it's there, but with the uh, the rifle plugged in back here, let's take the trailer off and see if we can get the rifle out. Put everything else back that popped out, all the little panels. Now we'll plug the trailer in. A lot more movement here. A great display piece. I think this is really cool. I, I have the MPP-10, the oversized knockoff Optimus Prime from Wei Zhang. I think that's how you say that. I probably butchered it. But anyway, the trailer is available for that figure as well. And I think that I'll probably go ahead and get the trailer. Uh, my girlfriend got me that figure for Christmas. And... Uh, I thought that it was really, really cool because it was a giant 12 inch tall Optimus Prime. But they do make a trailer that goes with him. And I think those are still available on eBay for around 60 or 70 bucks. So I'll pick that up. One thing that really disappointed me with that, that figure was that it came with a, a small version of Spike. And he was supposed to be articulated. And as soon as I went to move one of the joints, the, uh, the arm literally just tore off. It's like it was made of cheap uh, vinyl or rubber, uh, was not impressed with the spike accessory at all. And that's what I, I see it as th that figure was an accessory, but this, the Earthrise prime, I think is a fine, fine figure. Uh, transformation was not hard. Uh, playability, uh, which, which goes into playability. And I think that, uh, transforming him would not really be a problem without instructions. Uh, a lot of kids who play with these types of toys. I remember whenever I was a kid, uh, being able to transform from robot to truck and back without a problem. So I think that, um, you know, without using the, uh, instructions most of the time. So I think that's probably, uh, doable with these without a problem. I do like the new figures. Uh, not quite as hollow feeling at all as um, some of the figures I have I've, uh, checked out before. Sorry, I can't talk. I keep losing my train of thought. Been up for a while. But anyway, uh, good solid figure. I don't think that it's necessarily going to break. Yeah, this, uh, this front bumper piece came off a couple times, but it just snaps onto a metal rod that's inside here. And I, I don't think that that's like a break point or anything. Uh, the one thing, the one and only thing that I'm disappointed about with this figure is the fact that um, some of these panels don't stay when they get, when, when they tab in. Uh, I feel like that should be a nice tight fit. Quality on this is far above the Studio Series Bumblebee figure that I made a video with. That thing, I was incredibly disappointed in that, but these looked like they were so much nicer. So I ended up getting some of them. Over here on the instruction sheet, you see that uh, Autobot Grapple will actually interconnect with the trailer. Uh, we'll have to check that out whenever I open up Grapple. I might have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get this guy out again. Uh, this also shows you the little reveal thing here and the planet piece is Micron, um, which I still don't know what that is. I'll have to, I'll have to look that up. Let's go ahead and convert everything back. We'll get the trailer off and convert it to the battle station or a maintenance station, whatever it is. And, um, get Optimus Prime transformed back into robot mode. And just reversing all the steps. Let's open these up. And start popping things out here. Yeah. At least these figures seem to be pretty forgiving. I, I don't think that I'm going to break anything. It doesn't feel uh, entirely flimsy or anything like that. So I think we're pretty good in that aspect. This popped up here. Uh, probably shouldn't do that yet, but whatever. Let's start getting these pieces folded back in where they go. I think his head was the last thing that we did. So I'll, uh, see if we can get that 
back out here. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to damage any of the paint or anything on. So the head's getting stuck. Just took a little bit of pressure to get the head out there. All right, so we can start folding this back up here. Actually, these doors get folded in first, and then this snaps into place, and snaps in here, and here, and I pop this off again. I'm leaving it off for now. <laughs> yeah, just going to leave that off for now. Fold these pieces back out, and see if I can get the hands back out here. I don't have long fingernails and I don't have small fingers. So some of this stuff is a little bit hard to manipulate. Where's it at? There we go. I feel like you could probably damage it pretty easy if you uh, put a lot of force into it. If you had sharp fingernails. So we get the, the torso tabbed back in where it goes. This piece snapped back on there. I wish that would I, I wish that was a little tighter, but uh but whatever. It folds up and like this, and these wheels will tab in. And here we have it. I mean he's right back into robot mode pretty easily. And, you know, that took just a, a couple minutes for uh you know, someone who really doesn't have any in-depth knowledge of, uh, of these types of figures. So, fairly easy, though. Now back into robot mode. We'll unfold his rifle, click it into place, and put that in his hand. Yes. Optimus Prime. I actually love this figure. I really do. I think it's an awesome, awesome Transformer figure. And we'll open everything back up over here. Uh, this is what it was showing that Grapple would hook onto. Something here. So, And Grapple will be in a later video. I ordered it. Like, as soon as I saw it, I ordered an upgrade kit on eBay for Grapple. Now, this piece here unfolds and does a couple of things. Um, I believe that it'll actually go all the way up, maybe. Uh, I thought that it might. I'm not looking at the instructions. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that... Okay, so this goes up here and turns into like a little maintenance robot type thing. Um, Prime, looking at the instructions up here, shows Prime standing on the platform. So I'm going to take the gun out of his hand that I just put there and stand him here. I don't know if you'll lock in or anything. It looks as though it doesn't show anything locking into place except uh, having space up here for like his head, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe his head. I'm not sure, but. Yeah, like a maintenance bay. Sorry, I wasn't even looking at him. But yeah, like a maintenance bay type thing here for Prime. And then I know that he'll lay down on it. Um, like this. I'm not sure. 
It doesn't show anything with the wheels, so and these appear to be screwed on or riveted on. So I don't think that they actually move. I think this stand is meant to be down while this is opened up. But you have all of these other uh, sockets inside here where uh, the accessories will fit into. Other accessories. I think that uh, all of these transformers have this um, uh, socket system. So, yeah, pretty sure all of them have that. I'm interested in learning more about this, of course. Uh, the trailer, uh, sorry. You can actually put a vehicle in here, close it up, and transport it, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure what vehicles would fit. I would assume that it would be uh, something a, a bit smaller. Oh, okay. So this is also part of uh, a weapon, I guess. Here, an accessory. And this also comes off. <laughs> oh, this is a shield. A shield and an accessory for Prime. So, check it out. This will stick into the socket on his arm and we'll put his gun in the other hand just like the instructions show and this piece will go on his back in this socket and the uh the trailer becomes sort of a like a weaponizer let me loosen this up and show you here yeah so you have a shield and an additional accessory that that clicks into uh, the socket on his back. So, and then you have these articulated arms here. That's pretty cool. I dig that. Uh, the whole weaponizer aspect of these figures is one of the things that I found to be appealing. There are Transformers figures that break down into mm -hmm. uh, what are basically like just weapons kits. Uh, or armor or whatever that will go, they, they attach to other Transformers. I have a couple of them, and I, uh, I have not opened those yet. But we will do that together. We will open those together. I've seen some crazy photos posted on like Instagram and whatnot where people are taking uh, several of these types of Transformers. And they're, uh, they're making like a giant combiner because of all the pieces all the parts and pieces that'll uh, click into each other. I think that's a pretty neat aspect. Hasbro's really doing some neat stuff with uh, with these with the Transformers figures. Uh, you know that just clicks right back in, and of course this uh, this piece here just uh, uh, what am I doing? I'll fold this, put it back here, and there we go. Yeah, may have actually done that backwards, but maybe not. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. To fold it back up. Oh, yeah. It goes down like that. But, yeah. Prime would lay down in this, uh, you know, in the trailer for maintenance. Or if he was dying, the dying Prime. You know, his torso is just, like, coming apart here. <laughs> I don't think you'd be in too good of a condition if that were to happen. So, but yeah, uh, there's all kinds of stuff that uh, will interconnect with other uh, Transformers products here. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching me struggle my way through this first uh, Earthrise Siege uh, War for Cybertron video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. I am going to do more Transformers and more G.I. Joe stuff and all, all kinds of other things. Uh, be, uh, hit the, uh, the little bell icon. Click on that, and that will notify you whenever I upload a new video. All right, guys. Thanks for watching Action Media Reviews.